Wow. Yo, what's going on, buddy? Yo. What was that? What was that? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex. And today we're going to be ranking up and taking Yelena Belova into some gameplay action to test her out because I'm really excited to see if she's actually good for things like PvP. But first, a few announcements. One, they did send out a patch last night, it was like 6 o'clock or 6.30 in the morning, uh, where they fixed, I think they have seemed to have fixed the Dimension missions. So the way that it's going to work now is you will still see a 30 contribution if you have um, le agent level 60. But as you go up from agent level 60, it will go up 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 50, 55, 60. So once you hit agent level 110 and up, you will hit, you will max out at contribution 60. And then the contribution that you get from the stages, it'll still be six for 10, but it, as you see, it goes up to um 12 for 15 so you do spend a little bit more energy on 15 you spend 10 energy instead of eight you can see they're 10 and then over here it is eight but you get double the contribution so now it is actually worthwhile to run 15 if you can um or even just clear ticket if you clear ticket obviously it's going to cost you more it's going to cost you three clear tickets but if you can just play it yourself manually i know that takes time and i know some people don't have that time but I just want to point out that you are spending only two more energy, but you're getting twice as much contribution. Now, I do also realize that if you go down here, you have to play this twice as much. So it's relative to the level, not relative to your contribution. So they've permanently made the contribution scale in, in sort of a negative way. They did try to compensate for that with the rewards. One, you know, uh, 4,000 more gold, uh, 1,500 more Rift tokens in each of the three Rift token rewards. I don't know if this is a solution. Maybe this has something to do with the rewards in, in Dimension Mission maybe being too good. I don't know. But I feel like when they make these kinds of changes, especially if they can be perceived as negative, that they need to follow it up with explanations. You know, we felt as though players were getting, you know, too many rewards from Dimension Missions and it was sort of skewing their perception of rewards in other game modes. And if we give, if we match Dimension Mission rewards in all game modes, then it's unfair or it's it makes the game not fun. I, I don't know, whatever their reasoning is. I'm just, you know, I'm just waffling, but I'm just saying whatever their reasoning is, um, they should provide it, especially when what the, the changes made can be perceived as negative. Secondly, uh, a lot of people have been talking about World Boss. I know that World Boss is harder now. I acknowledge that it's harder now. But I'm going to just ride with it and see how it is because, you know, I think that some, a change needed to be made, basically. I think that it, a change needed to be made. What that change exactly is, I don't know, but I still have to do testing myself. The one thing I will say, however, though, is it seems that there is a bug with the striker skills. So what that means is when you load up strikers, even though you have their skill leveled up, and so I got to go and find Deadpool. Deadpool's a perfect example. When you choose that character and you look at the striker ability, uh, it's at level one. So I don't know if this is an intended effect or not, but they have rever reverted all of the characters' levels of their skills that they use as a striker to level one. So that's a level one grenade grand slam, minus seven up to minus 15. But of course, when you go to my Deadpool, because I love leveling up skills, and you look at grenade grand slam, it is minus 15, stacking up to minus 55. So hopefully, that is an unintended consequence of the change and they will fix that and then some of the you know maybe there's too much difficulty in world boss i don't want to say exactly what it is because i don't know and i don't want to make you know i don't want to build a narrative that isn't true so i'm not saying that that's the case maybe that maybe that was their intention and maybe it is too hard and maybe they do need to change it back so that the strikers are doing their skills at maximum level maybe that would encourage people to level up more of their character skills which causes them to spend more gold, which causes Net Marble to make more money, people need gold, etc. Whatever. I don't know, whatever. I'm just saying that that's obviously that's obviously incorrect, right? My Deadpool's skill is at level 6 and you're showing it at level 1. So, players are upset about that. The Net Marble monster uh, and the devs should absolutely address that and let us know through a patch or through some communication whether that's intended or it's, whether it's not intended and they intend to fix it. Lastly, I want to give you guys a bit of uh, transparency here I did get I, I didn't know that I was going to get them this soon but I did get the uh, star agent 5,000 crystals now this is gonna cut this is gonna sound you know this this might be awkward for some people when I couple it with the idea that um, oh my god you started spending you have no self-control 
wow, a couple of a couple of bright lights, and and you were distracted, and you and you you broke the you broke the boycott. Okay, so first of all, I didn't break anything. Okay, I said that I was gonna stop spending, but I wasn't calling anything a boycott yet, and I didn't ask anyone else to stop spending, and I didn't I didn't chastise or mock anyone else who wanted to stop spending, because. I just don't think that's the right way of doing things. And I and I did say in a video multiple times, don't blame other players. Right? It's not other players' faults that Netmarble is doing this. Whether we spend money or not, they're still going to try shit like this, right? Like, you think about it. Two years ago, people didn't buy the Ultimates, and yet here we are. So whether you spend or not, they're still going to come up with new ways of monetization, you know? Uh, and if and if no one spends, then the game just shuts down. That's, that's that's the only thing that really happens. I don't know what this means. Acquire for free. I guess you get some free uh, pass points for for every day. Whatever. Anywho, I, I didn't I didn't. It's not that I don't have any self control. I'm just trying to sort of explain myself here. I just feel like there was enough change. There was enough of them listening to the community that it warranted not only me spending some money so that I can bring you more content. But also that I'm actually excited about these characters and I'm actually excited about the content. You know, I had I had a much easier time playing Alliance Battle Extreme last night because I could refresh easily and I didn't have to close the app. So I really appreciate that change. A lot of these changes feel like they are two years late. So there is a little bit of resentment there, but there's always going to be a little bit of resentment with Netmarble. You know what I mean? Especially when you've been playing for five years. So I, I am still critical, but I want to be optimistic and I want to enjoy the parts of the game that I do enjoy. And there are definitely still good parts of this game. And I see some people saying stuff like, you know, the good doesn't outweigh the bad. I mean, listen, no, most of the most of the changes uh, in this update are positive. The only real negative change is dimension missions costing more energy. You are getting more rewards, so some people would prefer that, right? Some people have stockpiled tons of energy. They don't spend their energy anywhere else. So it's not the energy is not really the big deal for them, and so having extra rewards for them is better. And then the world boss changes. The world boss changes, I'm still hesitant to label that um, as a straight-up nerf because there had to be a change, and they warned us months ago that there was going to be a change. And obviously, there's something wrong when Hulkling is clearing stage 50 of world boss, but we have yet to see just how drastic those changes are. So with everything caught up, Oh, and last but not least, I didn't know I was going to get the Star Agent Crystals, so that's why I didn't buy Yelena for 2,500 Crystals. You can definitely buy her for 25 Crystals, a la Nick Fury, a la Valkyrie, and Ghost in the Legendary Battles when you go into the mission. So in case you're wondering, you don't need to buy the Extreme Pack. You just go over here, and when you start the mission, uh, maybe it's... I think it's Spiders in the Snow. When you go... Yeah, when you go to this mission, you press Start. It'll prompt you with a pop-up saying, You don't have Yelena. Do you want to buy her? This happened to me on the live stream, but I only had like 500 crystals, so I couldn't buy her. And then again, I by the time I had made my video already and bought her, then, you know, at, at like 7 o'clock in the morning, I got the uh, the Star Agent uh, crystals, the, the admin gift or whatever. So, you know, it was kind of too late for that. So, oh, without further ado, let's grab her uniform and build us up some Yelena Belova. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about her. Uh, a couple of you guys have messaged me uh, talking about her PvP potential or lack of PvP potential, but I didn't read your messages. Sorry. I started reading your messages, and then I realized you guys were trying to spoil it for me, and I was like, oh, hell nah. So, yeah, I want to find out for myself. We're going to be using a, re a mega rank up ticket here. Uh, it's, it's the easiest thing. It's the smoothest way to get these characters ranked up. You can obviously uh, use the entire subscription if you buy a bio subscription. Uh, you'll need one, at least one rank up ticket, but then you'll get stuck at six stars. The reason why I'm going to be using a mega rank up ticket and a mega tier two, on top of the fact that they gave us two free mega tier twos in the last two updates, is because I'm going to be using the rest of the bio sub to collect her bios for her other uniform. So I'm not really sure which uniform I'm going to upgrade. They should be synergy uniforms, so it shouldn't matter. I just realized that. So actually, I'll just use it to upgrade the one that she has now, and then it'll 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 count to the next one because they have to be synergy uniforms. If they're not synergy uniforms, I am gonna riot. So there's that. So we're gonna use a mega tier two ticket here, get her to tier two. We need her to be at tier two at minimum for any sort of PvP testing. So it's not really uh, an option to test her out at tier one. She's just not going to uh, be able to. She's not gonna do any damage basically. Um, it's it's kind of sucks that there's not much content in the game, and I said this on my free to play account. There's really not that much content in the game for tier one characters, uh, and so it, it just kind of bugs me that we have to still take characters from tier one to tier two. Um, but there isn't really much value except for like leaderships and some passives to having characters at tier one. I guess for someone like Taskmaster, it's not bad. 
because of his uh, uniform being the buff, but that's not usually the case. Like, for example, Mystique is not the case. So here for these skills, we don't want to level these up past three because we don't need to. I believe Flash Kick does need to be leveled up all the way. Yep, because of the... Oh, it has a guard hit as well, and it has a buff. Okay, nice. Was the guard hit always there? It's got Fracture as well. Huh. Oh, this is her non-uniform look. That's why. I was like, there's no Fracture. There's no hits. There's no hits on her smokescreen skill. You know what? I should just buy the uniform because I don't actually know uh, which of the skills I need to level up. Okay, so we've got we've got her snowsuit here. Bazooka launch. We probably want to level this one up because it deals the most damage, right? That actually makes sense. It's not going to deal much more damage, but it's going to deal some damage. So some is better than, than none. Here, we don't need to level this one up. So we just go to level uh level three to save some gold and then this one i believe does need to be leveled up because of the accumulation yeah the accumulation goes up from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 i believe 0 0.8 okay so yeah you know you definitely need to level up three and five and then uh the rest of them you can leave but i leveled up one for the uh just for the damage now her what are her options i don't even remember hmm the first one is Rogue Uncanny Avengers. Okay, we can get the first one here just with uniform XP chips. La la la. You could also use a Mega Mythic uniform upgrade ticket, but because of the bio subscription, I don't think it's necessary to spend that or to use that. She doesn't get any attack speed. Well, her leadership, but that's not. Where's her regular passive? Dodge, 30% dodge. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but we are 3% over capped on that movement speed. No, this needs to be probably ignore defense. So we're probably going to want HP on her third uniform option to make her a little bit tankier. And then I think we can leave that. Oh, it's movement speed. So she's already over capped on cooldown by default. What are her? Wow. She has skill cooldown and ignore defense there. Double HP, double all defense. Interesting. And she's not slotted on a team. So where is she getting all that cooldown from? I have no idea. Okay. Well, she is. So we just have to deal with it. Uh, so I guess we can change that to dodge. So we can probably max out her dodge or attack speed. We can probably max those out pretty quickly. You probably do want her attack speed to be pretty high for this uh, PvP combo, the 3-1. Because you want to get from 3 to 1 as fast as possible. And then if 1 is over, I wonder if 1 is a buff, right? It probably isn't, but imagine it's a buff and you could do three cancel, one cancel, five, and then five is an iframe with accumulation and ignore dot and ignore iframe. That would be absolutely nuts. Um, so let's roll her an ISO 8 set. We're looking for, I believe, Power of Angry Hulk. Yeah, her attack speed is not that good. So we are looking for Power of Angry Hulk and we have 401 million gold. Okay, and there we go. That was a bit expensive. It cost me about 5 million gold, but it's not bad. So let's go ahead and throw on some ISO 8 and see where she ends up as far as her stats go all attack okay we got to reroll one of these physical defenses you know what let's just give her a, an all defense here energy defense oh boy okay uh all right this is not the best setup here but wow we have so many fully awakened crit rates physical attack hp is nice Ooh, I don't know if we want to give her a fully awakened one, though. All attack, physical defense. Hmm, okay, so I'm going to give her some sort of not as good ones, and we're going to see here how this ends up. We can always awaken these later, but uh, I, I want to kind of hang on to some of these for possibly better characters in the future. Not that she's not going to be good, but we don't want to uh, give her the absolute best of the best if she turns out to be bad. And if she turns out to be good, it doesn't take that much to actually fix those uh, ISOs. Whereas if I want to take them off, it is going to cost crystals. So better to aim a little bit lower and then be able to improve them in the future rather than aiming high. And then if you uh, are wrong about it, you have to, you know, you have to pay up quite a bit. Okay, we still have a, we still have a ways to go. We're in, we're in the top 500 as far as her build goes. Her HP is not bad for a speed type already 26.8. Uh, let's find her something to equip here. I, I think a CTP of destruction might be the best option for PVP. We have one that's pretty decently rolled here. 43, 180. Yeah, I think the iframe ignore plus the CTP of destruction might be the way to go. And then we just need to give her some Uru. And we are back. I did the sort of flash forward. We are rank 63 now. 
So we awakened a little bit of the ISO to get her HP a little bit closer to 30,000. I really wanted to hit 30,000, but I don't think I can just yet. And then we threw on uh, with four awakened or four amplified slots on the Uru. We threw on five star physical attack, five star HP, five star dodge, and a little bit of ignore defense to get close to the cap. Now, I'm not actually going to cap out her ignore defense because I have ignore defense rolled on Pale Spider Sting, uh, the gear. And I know that when I unlock her potential and then I get this to 25, it will go over 50%. So I don't want to waste too many Uru now. Uh, last but not least, I remembered that I had a ticket, a rare ticket that I got from the Cosmic Core event. So we are going to be using this now to get her uniform to rare, which is kind of cute. And then do I have another ticket? I do not. Okay, rip. Uh, so we'll have to save up for the next one, but now we can roll this one. I don't know if she needs HP more than physical attack. Okay, let's let's go to physical attack and see if she has enough punch to kill. If she does, then that's good. If she doesn't, then we're screwed anyways. So we could have rolled HP there, but now let's take her into some PvP action and see what's up. So we're going to go ahead and take on the top five ranked teams for Vibranium and just see how it works here. Um, now we did bring Wasp and... We did bring Wasp for the leadership, and then, um, oh yeah, wow. We brought Wasp for the leadership and then Taskmaster for the extra damage. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, buddy? Yo. <gasps> What was that? What was that? Yo, that was busted. If you play manually, she's busted. She's level 60, guys. Oh no. What did you guys do, Netmarble? I mean, this is kind of this could be bad, but this is also kind of funny, you know? As much as I hate as well, I don't hate power creep that much because it's it's inevitable, right? Every mobile game will have to have power creep. And it's not like she's dumping over every character. She's not gonna be able to kill Thanos and stuff like that. But this, you gotta admit, this is pretty funny. To be able to kill Jean like this when you can get lucky and get sort of the jump on her. Now, maybe destruction is not the best option because as you can see, I'm not really um I'm not really getting much penetration, giggity. But uh when we do get it, it's basically a, a one shot here. Wow. This combo's oh, physical reflect. Oh ho ho ho! Oh, Josuke. Okay, so we just died to physical reflect. That was cute. Yeah, we're... Wow, wow, wow. Colossus just body bagged me. I like that. I like that. I like to see the sort of the sort of counterplay of the counterplay. I'm liking this, though. I'm liking this a lot. I had a feeling that she would be good. Let's see if I can kill Thanos. I don't think she has enough damage to kill Thanos. And it's a little bit sketchy when you're doing the fifth skill because she comes out of iframe in the middle and then she goes back into iframe. But yeah, if you can get loose and then you can create some distance, you go right into the combo. She's got... Well, I don't even need to do one, actually. You know what? I could save one. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is a better idea to just go one into four and then into five. Maybe this is more damage than I can save the one. Um, and then we can iframe ignore. And then we go invisible. And then we do five. And then we iframe ignore. Wow. Wow. Yelena. Yelena. Oh, man. But she gets. <laughs> she gets absolutely wrecking crude by Colossus. And I just murdered. I just. Yeah. I just self destructed Taskmaster. This team can't touch Colossus, eh? Wow. It's so funny that he. That she's countering Thanos and Jean Grey. But then I get body. I get literally body bagged by Colossus. And the thing is, the other thing is, both Taskmaster and Mystique are physical damage characters, right? And I brought them along. I mean, I brought along Taskmaster. You can swap him with Mystique, but it's for that 45% increased damage to superheroes. Otherwise, I don't think Yelena has enough punch to kill Jean. But this is so interesting. The team is full physical, except for a little bit of, um, well, except for Wasp, right? But I think even some of Wasp's skills have a little bit of physical, like when she throws the car. So what do you do against Colossus? I literally cannot touch Colossus. This is hilarious. Can I just do a quick swap here? Ah, okay. So we could iframe ignore him on one, but we can't pull him out of the iframe because we're not in iframe. Okay. So you have to be a little bit, you have to be a little bit careful. And you also have, it's not a foolproof, you know, it's, she's not a hundred percent. 
you have to um, be a little bit careful against... Yeah, I don't think Taskmaster is going to be very good. He's dead. Yeah, okay. So I think my original uh, guess that Taskmaster could be good for PvP is probably wrong as a standalone character. He didn't die right away against Thanos. That was kind of impressive. But man, Yelena's Yelena's actually possibly legit. Wow. I don't think I don't I don't want to rush you guys to, to give her a CTP of Ooh. Ooh, I want to fight him. I, I don't want to rush you guys to give her a CTP of destruction because I don't know if that's the best option for her. In the in the very limited testing that I'm doing right now in front of your eyes, it doesn't seem to be very consistent, so I don't like that. And she is still pretty fragile. But keep in mind she is level 60. Oh yeah. Stupid. Yeah, so she's going to take... Ref That's tough. So Silver Surfer is probably a really good counter for her. I actually want to see how she plays against Captain Marvel. I played that really badly, but because her first skill is not an iframe, even though it has iframe ignore, you're going to take reflect damage. So that's tough. And then if you use the third skill and you go into iframe, you trigger Silver Surfer's own iframe ignore skill. Let me try that one one more time. I think basically you have to, you still have to bait his third skill. So you bait his third skill and then you uh, go ahead with... Um, yeah, this is what we want. But yeah, you take you take reflect damage. Okay, we got one kill. I don't know if we can get another one. It's a bit sketchy here. Yeah, because of because of the reflect damage. So the invisibility. Wow, the invisibility is so good. Oh, she got the kill. Is she silencing them in PvP? Even though they have. Um, Wow, 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 wow. The damage on five. Wow. But right away, you get that you get that third skill off, and then it's just game over. Wow. And I'm dead. <laughs> the Colossus counter kills me, dude. The Colossus counter kills me. It's like nothing she can do. Because they're she's full physical, right? This is nothing. You can you gotta finish with Wasp. Boys, Wasp meta? new new wasp meta man so that's that's really cool i like that I'm, I'm happy to see new characters sort of make a splash and have some relevance in pvp it's not just the gene gray show every five seconds uh every day forever let me know what you guys think of yelena belova's damage and her i mean does she look fun to play i'm having a blast personally um i don't know if this is gonna be viable long term so maybe wait for more content before you invest in her because it is you know it's, it's a costly uh, investment is 2,500 crystals and a mega tier 2 ticket and a uniform. You have to get the uniform for this strategy to work because she doesn't have the iframe ignore on one and she does not have the uh, invisibility on three. So really this upgrade, this uniform is actually a huge upgrade over her modern uniform. Um, whereas I originally said it didn't seem like it was for, for Red Guardian and I still think that it's not as big of an upgrade for Red Guardian. It's just the accumulation and the a couple extra seconds of, of an immunity. But this one does seem like a massive upgrade for Yelena fans. So yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of a level 60 Yelena killing tier 3 Jean Grey's left and right and tier 3 Thanos's. That was pretty sick, eh? Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.